Hello John, we're going to continue our conversation. This is part two of baptism. Um, we're going to discuss Aidan O'Reardon, Paul Murphy and Colette Brown, a young journalist. Um, can you just tell us about those? Good morning. Uh, last week uh, I mentioned uh, an article that was in the Irish Independent of the 7th of June 2016, last week from this week. Uh, the article uh, by um, that won the headline of uh, the political correspondent of the of the Irish Independent uh, had these two politicians, Aidan O'Reardon, former minister and Labour member, and now in the Senate because he was defeated in the last election, um, and um, they uh, had an article uh, criticising. The, uh, what they call the baptism barrier. Um, I give a good example of how uh, this was a very misplaced uh, and objectionable word uh, referring to Catholic schools and uh, people that have been baptised and proud to be baptised. Uh, from the sound of the article it may appear uh, that perhaps Mr. O'Reardon and Mr. Murphy have long forgotten their baptism or Holy Communion or Confirmation if they did in fact make the, the, uh, where, where that, that happened to them. Now, uh, following that discussion about uh, those two politicians, uh, there was an article in the same paper of Tuesday at the 7th of June 2016 uh, by a journalist named Colette Brown. And I'll just read some experts. It's a two-page, it's practically a two, it's a two-page spread and the title of the article... Okay, is, can I just ask what day are we talking about? Uh, there? We're talking about <coughs> uh, the Irish Independent of Tuesday the 7th of June 2016. Okay. Which is comparatively recent. Uh, by the way, this is against the background of the proposed um, the pro proposed referendum uh, to um, um, bring abortion into the public domain. Um, so I just read this article and um, the headline. It says here about this uh, Colette Brown, journalist of the Irish Independent, uh, and a picture of children. Children and parents will pay the price. For Bruton's now, he's uh, Br Br Bruton is a uh, Richard Bruton is the Minister for Education, Fianna Gael Minister for Education. But the headline here is Bruton's surrender, the word surrender to church power on an inverted commas the baptism barrier. The same uh, approach adopted by the two politicians I've already mentioned. Now, this article is quite, uh, there's one, two, three, four, five columns in this, in this article. <coughs> now, I just read two items to give you some kind of a flavour of this um, journalist approach to this. And it supports uh, the two politicians. So, it looks like a concerted effort on the, pa on the part of the Irish Independent editorial board or the editor. Now, part of it, as if the minister has opted, uh, sorry, wait now, education equality, which educate equality, this is some new outfit, uh, which campaigns for equality in the provision of education to children, read the area, repeated those concerns yesterday. And inverted commas, segregation is something we should be working against rather than actively encouraging. And this is the word, anecdotal evidence. Now we've no evidence of what they, wherever they adopted this anecdotal evidence, gathered by education equality. The word equality always appears with these people uh, that want to destroy uh, the um, system that has existed very satisfactorily for many years. So the word equality, 
uh, which is misnamed in this event, from parents reveals that these divisions are carried through into the playground where children stick to groups of their own religion, said chairperson April Duff. April, June and November. April Duff. Now, um, that's one part of this article. I think you can see the flavour of where it's gone. The word discrimination and equality are together. Uh, this unjust and untrue attack on the Catholic school system, which has already been paid for, those schools, by our parents and grandparents, when they had little money, they provided the funds for the build those schools. The teachers, by and large, are paid by the state. Uh, but the people that want to in, that want to change all this system uh, are talking about Catholic schools to be divested of their um, Catholic ethos, so as to cater for all the people from other countries that have arrived, arrived here with apparently no religion or uh, a different religion. As she mentions about people sticking to their own group, I think it's quite obvious for anyone with eyes to see as you go around Ireland, most of the people that have arrived here are from Eastern Europe, Africa and practically every other country in the world. Uh, are mixing together and staying among themselves and speaking their own language. In a lot of cases, it is quite evident uh, that they've been placed in many communities in the rural Ireland and certainly uh, they don't mix uh, with the local people. Um, so uh, the fact that this person, this writer, makes uh, this uh, equality uh, um, together Edu edu what do you call themselves? Um, they call themselves education equality. Now, who are these people and wh what evidence or what proof have they produced uh, that, that uh, backs up their claims? Uh, this is the type of uh, tax on the Catholic education system adopted by these people, making claims that are not backed up by any other evidence other than their own. Now, further on this article, I'll just read another little bit. And the journalist Colette Brown says, if Mr. Bruton, if Mr. Bruton, Richard Bruton, Fine Gael Minister uh, for Education, it's not said, doesn't say that here, but if Mr. Bruton really wants to promote inclusivity Inclusivity. What about the Catholic children, the vast majority, the 90% of children that are Catholic in this country? And scant respect for them. To promote and diversify in schools, then he should immediately repeal section 7 in brackets 3 in brackets C of the Equal Status Act 2000, uh, year 2000 which allows schools to discriminate, and the word discriminate again appears, on the basis of a child's religion, and set down credible targets for the divestment of a sizable number of the nearly 3,000 primary schools currently under Catholic control, but entirely funded by the state. <coughs> there again, uh, this attack on diversification uh, Catholics, the 90% which claim to be Catholics, are entitled to send their children to a Catholic school and to have preference in that school. The people that are, have arrived with no religion or none, or whatever they, whatever they have, uh, they're supposed to, into, in, they're supposed to uh, do what we have to do if we go abroad go to schools, and if our Catholics go to Catholic schools, uh, people of no religion can go to schools that uh, support whatever it is that they don't believe in. Um, I, just, I just want to ask you, John, um, more about baptism, okay? There's a new word now to describe baptism, is there? Um, well, 
Yeah. How do you, is there new words to describe it? Or? Well, well, well um, no, but it's, it's the, um, uh, most, pe most people in this country have been baptized, whether as Catholics or as Protestants. Now, um, the way that this um, anti-Catholic uh, journalists and media uh, there is that Catholic schools are attacking particularly because they have principles and standards that they cannot dilute. Okay. And they will not dilute. I want to ask you, um, does baptism affect Christians, Christians and Protestants alike? Well, it does because uh, Christians, be they Catholic or Protestant, are, are, are baptised. And uh, that's the nature of belonging to a Christian church. And of course, there are varieties of, of Protestant churches. Uh, there's just the one Catholic church. And so <clears throat> parents baptize children uh, because they, have, they believe in the Catholic faith. The development of the Catholic faith primarily often rests with the parents, but schools have an important part to play. And from what I can see, the practice and, uh, of the, the teaching of the Catholic ethos in Catholic schools is not as strong as it might have been heretofore. In point of fact, uh, sometimes it's said that there's very little uh, time devoted to the uh, teaching of the Catholic ethos and the Catholic faith, which is regrettable. One of the former people I mentioned about Adon O'Reardon, a former Labour Minister and TD uh, for the Labour Party and now in the Senate because he was defeated. Um, he uh, decided that, uh, that him and uh, his party and the Fine Gael party wanted to abolish, uh, but now they're in there. He um, has uh, been a former headmaster and I wonder what was the Catholic, I presume it was a Catholic school, what was the um, Catholic ethos of that school? Was it promoted? Uh, if Mr. O'Reardon is talking about baptism barriers, one would wonder. So th this is the background uh, that we're trying to deal with, uh, with regard to baptism. And furthermore, um, in the political arena, uh, we have now um, ministers, the Minister for Education, who would have a function uh, for children as regards their education in the primary sector, primary national schools, and then we have a Minister for Children, uh, who would be responsible in some ways uh, for the welfare of children, uh, Irish children, and for I suppose children uh, belonging to people that have come into the country in vast numbers. Uh, uh, approaching a million, I think, at the moment, um, and uh, uh, probably uh, has, has some responsibility for those. Uh, now, as a Minister for Children, uh, Mrs. Um, Catherine Zappone, the new Minister for Children, a recent um, a TD uh, from the Dublin South constituency in Dublin, uh, been elected on uh, the final count by a margin of a few votes. She is now um, the Minister for Children and she has been on the media uh, on News Talk uh, the other day and uh, on other um, radio programmes and she is in favour of um, the, uh, the idea of abortion. Now, as a minister responsible for the constitution and uh, the fact that there was already a, a referendum to protect the lives of the mother, mothers and children, uh, which has been very successful in protecting both and saving a lot of children that might have otherwise uh, not be alive today. We depend on our mothers uh, to bring us into the world and give us the care and attention that mothers have traditionally do. So it seems unusual for a minister for children to be advocating uh, abortion which might interfere with potential children of this country. Um, did, did, can we discuss the ordination in St. John's 
Waterford. Uh, St. John's Seminary in Waterford was a seminary.